hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers and uh, we were discussing about pressure measurement devices pressure sensors pressure transducers in the previous video I think we discussed about thin plate diaphragms. so in this video uh, we'll discuss about another pressure measurement device actually two pressure measurement uh, device or instruments membranes and capsules okay first let us discuss about membranes now friends we have already discussed about uh, thin plate diaphragms now membranes here is very similar to thin plate diaphragms the basic operating principle but there is a difference in the construction the design thin plate diaphragms they are made from metallic alloys okay and they are used for high pressure measurements but membranes they are made from non metallic materials and they are used for low pressure measurements except these two things all the other uh, associated uh, things related to thin plate diaphragms and membranes they are the same they operate in the same way so again a membrane is a very thin diaphragm okay initial position is like this this one okay the straight line position this is the initial position then it is subjected to pressure there is a difference between pressure on either side of the diaphragm if it is enclosed then there is a difference between the internal and the external pressure Dif based on the difference of the pressure the membrane it undergoes deformation okay it undergoes deformation this is the maximum possible displacement of the membrane from its initial position okay this here is the initial position okay initial position this is the maximum displacement okay this this one this point and this point so we have to establish a relationship between like we did in the thin plate diaphragm a, a relationship between this maximum displacement and the pressure difference which is we want to measure and another important thing uh, the radius here the radius of the membrane from here to here it is R from this point to this point this is R so obviously the diameter will be twice that of the radius so it is uh, there as it is mentioned here and the relationship uh, between the maximum displacement and the pressure difference it is expressed as this y max which is the maximum displacement is expressed as r square by 4 is delta p where r is the radius of the membrane y max is the maximum displacement delta p is the pressure difference between either side of the membrane or if it is enclosed it is encapsulated the internal and the external pressure that difference here p1 is greater than p2 so here delta p will be written as p1 minus p2 so this is that delta p the pressure difference on either side and s is the radial tension okay the tensile force acting along the radius when pressure it is subjected to pressure so this is the basic operating principle of membrane which is very much similar to thin plate diaphragm there is a difference in the mathematical equation because in case of thin plate diaphragm metallic elements are used high pressure measurements are done so there were a lot of terms involved in the equation but here it is very simple uh, next is capsule okay 
now again capsules uh, they are similar to diaphragm type uh, pressure measurements but here there is a difference in the design diaphragms they come in this way okay circular diaphragms or any other shape diaphragms they come in this way like this this is the initial position now if the shape of this elastic portion okay this elastic portion this much if it is curved or a lot of corrugations convolutions or curvy shapes are inserted or the uh, this diaphragm is made curved a lot of curves are introduced in it which is called as convolutions or corrugations then the flexibility the sensitivity to pressure variations it increases okay so it has slightly this kind of a structure these curved portions are introduced to increase its sensitivity and flexibility this is called as a corrugated diaphragm which consists of these curves which are called as corrugations again it is subjected to pressure on either side and because of this pressure difference between the uh, the either side of the diaphragm depending on which one is high the corrugated diaphragm it undergoes displacement to and fro displacement if p1 is greater than p2 it will move upwards if p2 is greater than p1 it was it will uh, undergo displacement downwards this is corrugated diaphragm now if two such corrugated diaphragms are joined together okay if two such identical corrugated diaphragms are joined together we will get a capsule okay a enclosed structure like this it is nothing but two corrugated diaphragms joined together okay now here the thing is that pressure is applied through this channel okay the measured pressure which has to be measured and then pressure on the other side is p2 now depending on the difference of these two pressures whether p1 is greater than p2 or p2 is greater than p1 again this diaphragm it will undergo compression or expansion and will undergo to and fro displacement which is expressed as y it will undergo compression or expansion now this relationship between the pressure difference and the displacement y is expressed as per this relationship okay where the pressure difference delta p the pressure difference delta p which is the difference in the pressure p1 and p2 depending on which one is higher and which one is lower that is given by aym plus bym cube now here a is et cube by r to the power 4 a and b is equal to et by r to the power 4 b here e capital e is young's modulus of elasticity which is defined as the ratio between the stress produced on the diaphragm because of the pressure applied and the resultant strain produced stress by strain ratio capital r is the radius of the diaphragm t is the thickness of the diaphragm and these small a and b they depend on the number of corrugations uh, the convolutions that are used the type of material which is used and lot of other things and it is generally mentioned in the specification sheet okay when you uh, when a particular manufacturer supplies them okay so these are the uh, relationship between the pressure difference and the displacement okay the displacement of the diaphragm so this is the basic operating principle of corrugated diaphragm two corrugated diaphragms combined together to form a capsule okay so here we have discussed about 
membranes which were very much similar to thin plate diaphragms and then capsules which is basically uh, two corrugated diaphragms combined together and the you know how pressure is measured with the help of that which is expressed as per this mathematical relationship which uh, correlates the displacement of the capsule and the pressure difference okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much